in North America. We haven't even gotten to talk about them, but the boys, they are a wrecking ball. Will they be able to take down the move, send them to the lower, or will the move get to their first grand final of the year? This K is really going to have all of the pressure put on his shoulders. Of course, having Peekaboo 2 support you a tad bit will help, but ultimately it will come down to his split-second decision-making later into the match to try and burst down a kill. How is he going to navigate through all of the interrupts? We've seen Chanimal able to pull off victories out of nowhere as a result of good interrupt avoidance, but it is not an easy task to do. WizK with limited experience on that destruction warlock. See if he can do it. Yeah, Smexing getting low. Good pressure here from the move. Greki already trading out his trinket. Smexing getting a little bit low. WizK looking for another chaos ball. Is he going to be able to find it? Does manage to do so, but a death strike heals up Smexing quite quickly. What is Peekaboo and WizK going to do? Pressure from Chun Li and Smexing so far has been unrelenting, but they haven't really been able to pull out too many defensive cooldowns. Chun Li opting into the Tiger Eye Brew specialization. That takes a little bit of time to ramp up. You can't just run in right away and get max value. You have to be attacking, spending chi in order to build up that buff that you can eventually spend to bypass the armor of WizK. WizK has been building a lot of pressure for the team, and the boys are not responding, I would say, necessarily appropriately. They're holding on to defensive cooldowns for an extended period of time, and now the move look to sink their teeth in. Let's see if they can find a kill here. Chun Li still just taking a brutal beating. Greki gets silenced by Peekaboo as he looks to crowd control the whole team. Greki denies the subterfuge reconnect, denying Peekaboo from increasing the damage of his garage onto the two members, Chun Li and Spex. And that was a good reaction time on the bash by Greki. But now a spell lock secured by WizK. Infernals still available and now have landed. Big Chaos Bolt potentially gets denied. Can WizK get enough Chaos Bolts off before the Infernals have faded? One Chaos Bolt connects. If you can get a second Chaos Bolt, Touch of Karma, maybe they just try and bust through it. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to be able to do it. WizK, of course, with the Nether Ward, can redirect some of that Touch of Karma damage. Back on to Chun-Li. Smexen seems to be the main target right now as Greki gets interrupted. Smexen could be in a lot of trouble, but in the meantime, WizK caught into a leg sweep. That is the Unending Resolve traded out. Absurge Mana is not looking good. Gorecki in a kidney shot. Good pressure for both teams. What is Gorecki going to do? He has Barkskin up. He's trying to kite away, but Peekaboo looking to take him down. Beautiful backup by Chun Li with a Ring of Peace. Gorecki escapes. Now still has the mana lead, but he has to play catch up in a huge way. All right, Smexen very low. Mana even. The move are looking good, though, I think, at least aggressively. Not so much defensively. Without unending resolve, that's going to be scary for WizK, but even under the pressure that the boys are dishing out on this Windwalker DK, WizK is responding time and time again. That's what we'll credit from his Shadow Priest experience is that he does huge damage. So you can definitely expect it here in game uh -oh. number one. Chun -Li. Chun Li is looking like he's going to fall. Is this, is this it for the move? The Turbo Fist barely keep Chun Li alive. He parried all of those incoming attacks. Attacks managed to keep Peekaboo at bay just long enough to stay alive. Grandmaster Chun Li coming up with huge plays with that Turbo Fist in order to stay alive. Peekaboo did such a great job setting that up for the team, but now the boys have stabilized. Gorecki even potentially moving in, getting crowd control. Oh no! After the bash. WizK getting low. There's not much defense left. WizK's looking for the fears. Is he going to be able to find it? Gets caught into a leg sweep. Trinkets out. Touch of death rolling from Chun Li. Extra burst damage available. Ooh. Is WizK going to fall? Abster does manage to keep him alive, but for how long? I mean, what? What are they going to do? They've got Vendetta, but there's Touch of Karma. There's Icebound Fortitude. There's no openings. The move had one chance to kill, and that's now been lost. Chun Li with perfect play, able to survive with nothing left. And I was about to say, is this the day of the move? Are they coming back? but now it's starting to slip away. They have to stay alive so much longer with basically nothing left. Gorecki's got way more mana left in the tank looking for Cyclones. He's got Absurd pinned down behind the pillar. Paralysis. Chun Li gets kidney shot. Perfect peels by Peekaboo. Buying more time for the team. Curious to see if Absurd can drink. No one's there. Is nobody going to stop him from drinking? Gorecki jumps in. The Death and Decay whiffs. Absurd's got a tiny bit of mana. Potentially the move stay in it. Yeah, Chun Li denies WizK with the Ring of Peace. Now without that available, is missing out on some defensives. WizK caught into the stun. Bash onto Absurge. Can he get the cycle? And Gorecki looking for it, potentially not able to find it just yet. Now WizK looking for counter pressure once again. And the move have been doing a great job keeping the boys on their toes. Although WizK is under fire, Chun Li and Smexen have really had to second guess their ability to push in and stay in this fight. WizK still low with no Iron Bark and no unending resolve. I think it's just a matter of time. Peekaboo flailing to keep him alive, looking for counter pressure. Lands a cheap shot onto Smexen. Icebound Fortitude trades out. Leg sweep onto WizK. Do they have the damage? They're just barely staying alive. 
Whiskey looking for a chaos oh. look. Gets interrupted. Either Spexen or Whiskey could fall. It's anyone's game at this point. It's down to the wire, but Whiskey is going to fall first. Peekaboo desperately tried to hard carry, doing everything that he could to keep it going. They were totally tapped. Down to the wire here is dampening just in. Were to happen, but now it definitely is the case. But the boys, on the other hand, this is a roster that just couldn't even have been in your mind. And this is really one of the rosters that is the catalyst for NA, having all these players move all over the place. You just see a, a powerhouse team come together. They gel very quickly. The boys now trying to take down the move with one in their back pocket. All right, Wizcam and Pikachu pulling the trigger on big power cooldowns early on, trying to catch Chun-Li off guard, but immediate reaction. Chun-Li starts to stabilize, and now they look to counter-aggress. Maybe not stabilize. Oh. Is Touch of Karma not going to be enough for Chun-Li? Have they managed to crack it? Uh -oh. Chun-Li so low on health. Overwhelming pressure right now from the move as Chun-Li flounders and is looking like it's going to fall. No Are way. you kidding me? Are you kidding no me right way. now? Chun-Li somehow survives at 1% health and the move is in complete disbelief. 1% health, really? Gorecki manages to keep him alive, but now Chun-Li pushing in. We're gonna take down Wiz K. What did the move commit there, though? Defensively, they still have a lot to work with. People traded out so much in order to try to take Chun-Li down, but they managed to get through every single defensive cooldown. If the move can make another push like that, they might be able to take Chun-Li down. They've still got Dark Soul in the back pocket. Potentially, Wiz K can chunk through and find a kill with that. He's gonna go for a Chaos Bolt, get one onto Smexen. Not really the best target there. His Death Strike is gonna be quite easy for Smexen to recover. Now Kidney Shot on Chun-Li. Chaos Bolt being casted, gets it off. Huge damage, Gorecki needs to respond. How is he gonna exchange cooldowns here? That's the Dark Soul. We would typically see an anti-magic zone from a Death Knight here in exchange. Smexen isn't making the trade though. Instead trying to counter aggress and push them over with both Peekaboo and Whiskey under fire. Pressure is on. Maxing into Kidney Shot, could be in some trouble with K looking for a Chaos Bolt, but Gorecki's mana is not looking good. He had to use a lot of mana to keep Chun-Li and Smexin in the fight, and I have to say the move is really impressing me with the amount of pressure they are able to put out in this matchup so far. Chun-Li and Smexin playing a little bit scared. You're gonna have to be careful. Now we do a full Kidney Shot. Chun-Li could potentially just fall if there's any damage. Oh, Mortal Coil onto Gorecki. Is Chun-Li gonna be able to survive? He trades out Touch of Karma, and that's one of the benefits of being a Windwalker Monk. A lot of your defensive cooldowns have a really short cooldown, so you can easily trade them out consistently in fights like this. He could be, he's got Vendetta. Smack. I've never seen this much damage from a team. He gets a hibernate though. Nice play by Gorecki, catching Absturge off guard. Now Whiskey on the back foot. They had overwhelming pressure, a massive lead, but now Gorecki is starting to swing it in his team's favor with a perfect crowd control chain on Absturge. Whiskey is starting to fall low. Unending resolve exchanges overlap now with the iron bark. The defense is starting to crack. Peekaboo's got one more point to try and pierce through and Ooh. find a kill with that vendetta. In the meantime, Gorecki sits down for a drink, regenerates a bit of mana, but not too much. Peekaboo still has an opportunity to go for a kill. Kidney shot, vendetta, everything on Peekaboo. Yeah, Wiz K looking for a Chaos Bolt, unable to find it. If Wiz K can land these Chaos Bolts, it's gonna be so massive for them to actually take down Shun Li. But the interrupts from Spex and Chun Li have been really, really good in this match so far. Gorecki tricketing out of a blind. Vendetta rolling for Peekaboo as he's looking to take down Smexen, I believe. Touch of death up for Chun Li. Wiz K without unending resolve could be in some trouble. Full cyclone secured by Gorecki as he pushes in, trying to close out this game, but there's just no damage on Wiz K. Yep, no damage whatsoever. And look, Infernals, Dark Soul. Wizkid's gonna drop both of those. He's got a couple seconds to get a kill. How is Chun-Li gonna respond? Anti-magic zone. Fair exchange here for Smex and high value. Wizkid gates out of its protection, but then grip back into it. Wizkid still under fire. After will Iron Bark be enough? We're not even into dampening at this point. Both is basically tapped. Wizkid still just completely getting smashed. They stabilize, they drop a smoke bomb. One second away from Chun-Li being able to live, but it's not gonna happen. The moves stay in this tournament, and they look like an entirely change from them. Peekaboo is the only one who's completely comfortable where he's hanging out, the only person who's really at home on his main. But the move has been able to make it work. They have been able to implement it, but the boys, with a very good change up here, might have enough extra defense to really push those Chaos Bolts away. Yeah, in the last game, we saw the move generate pressure from start to finish. Will they be able to do it once again? Gorecki, actually, he got blinded. What happened? Broke. I think the Fell Hunter hit him. Oh, that's a disaster. Wiz K broke the blind with his Fell Hunter onto Gorecki. 
That is a nightmare start for the move. Not really going to be able to get too much pressure as Gorecki's not going to be put in any crowd control. Big yikes early on for the move. That was an important crowd control. Now whiffed as Peekaboo tries to carry, catching Chun-Li in a smoke bomb. They're under responding, disrespecting, and now have to overextend their defensive lineup. Mistakes on both sides, and the move stay in the game thanks to Peekaboo. Yep, Gorecki, he trinkets out of the kidney shot, but he has the way of the crane rolling. He does manage to top off the entire team. Huge pressure now onto Wiz K. What is Absurge going to do? On any resolve, Netherward, everything's been traded out by the move. If they can continue this pressure, Wiz K could easily fall. Peekaboo trying to counter pressure as best he can with the Vendetta rolling onto Chun Li. And Gorecki, you can look at his defensive cooldowns. There's not much left to work with. If he gets crowd controlled or spell locked, Chun Li's going to die. They have to abort the mission. After moves in, secures crowd control to close the game out. They're gonna do it. No way. Move advance to match point. <laughs> And this was one of the while to figure out how this meta works. Have they cracked the code? They need to take down hook point and they'll be going straight to the grand finals. A lot is on the line for the move if they want to make it to the first international LAN event at the spring finals for the Arena World Championship Series. They missed out on it last year and they're looking to correct that mistake, but it's coming down to the last couple of tournaments to do so. Today appears to be their day. Can they overwhelm the boys advance to the grand finals? Their best performance this year, Aptor's in a good position, far away from the fight. Definitely keeping it calm, cool, and collected. Peekaboo's trying to lead the charge for his team, but Whiskey is under huge pressure. Yeah, definitely, but still has managed to hold on to that unending resolve. Infernals get dropped out. This is where we see the moves start generating a lot of pressure, and the boys, they respond completely differently. They are just hightailing it out of there. Chun-Li behind the pillar, smacks in behind the pillar. Peekaboo says, no way, you're not escaping. Kidney shot smoke bomb, but I think Chun-Li will ultimately be able to survive. In terms of mana, Gorecki a little bit behind at this point, but I think on the smaller map, it will be difficult for Absturge or Gorecki to sneak away for drinks. All right, let's see. It's going to be really quick, I think, this game on hook point. Whiskey just getting bursted. Tons of damage from the team of the boys, really keeping Whiskey on his toes. Can the move do it? They just need one more win, and they're in the grand final. Can they keep it together? Peekaboo doesn't really have much potential right now without Vendetta or Smoke Bomb. It's going to be difficult for him to be the playmaker, really relying on Absturge right now to stall the game out for Peekaboo to have those abilities to then set the team up for victory. Also relying on Wizk to generate pressure for Peekaboo to play off of. All three members playing a pivotal role in finding victory. Absturge jumps in but gets clotheslined. Grecky then jumps to safety. Good reaction time on Grecky's part. Yeah, Chun-Li portals away to safety. He does not want to fall again. Fool Chun-Li once maybe twice, but the third time I feel like now Chun Li is going to be playing uh, really defensive in this matchup. If he's ever scared or correct, he's ever in crowd control, he's just going to be portaling away as we've always seen the Windwalker Monks go down in these matchups. And I think if you do rotate properly, you play uh, appropriately and run when you're really scared, I think the Windwalker Monk should be able to survive. And that's really when we're going to see the advantage for the boys. All right, double Mortal Coil, good combo. Chaos Bolt doesn't connect though. In this case, He's not able to get it off. He's tr desperately trying to pull a touch of karma, but he's not finding it. And that's putting them behind. This is starting, at least momentum-wise, in favor of the boys. Mana-wise, it's still surprisingly in favor of the move. Evenly fought. Chun-Li needs to be careful. Very low on health. Almost not exchanging that touch of karma in time to survive. Smexen is taking a beating as well at down at half health. Grecky has to recover two members of the team. Now caught in a blind, and Higui's got that vendetta. He's ready to make the move. I don't mean to roast every single Windwalker in this tournament, but Chun-Li messed up his transcendence. It's just a nightmare because he had to trade out his touch of karma because of it. Definitely not ideal, and we really need to see that cleaned up for Chun-Li. Um, we normally do see it play out quite nicely, but making those mistakes there are the things that the move is going to be able to capitalize on in this matchup. All right, Chun-Li getting set up on Absurd, trying to get the team some victory here. A bash into a fear. The crowd control chain looks good. Chun-Li, though, retreating away. Peekaboo unable to connect and carry, but it gets a sap out of the fear. This is it. If there was a chance for the move to make it to the grand final, they got a couple more seconds. Chun-Li's turbo fist denied Peekaboo's attacks. Whiskey's trying to get more crowd control to buy enough time to kill Chun-Li. Chun-Li tries to kite. Peekaboo just waddling his way over to connect. Kidney shot. Iron Bark needs to be enough. Mana evening out, and it's anyone's game here, but the move are on match point. Yeah, definitely a scary moment for both of these teams. Grecki, Absurge, their mana's not looking good. Both of them are already traded out Innervate. Wiz K drops out the Infernals. Smacks in a vulnerable target here. Double X-Week coming in from Chun-Li. They're trying to take down Wiz K. No unending resolve, no Iron Bark, no nothing. The boys, they only need one final push in this matchup, potentially take Wiz K down, but there's
There's still a lot of pressure here from the move. Chun-Li forced to trade out the touch of Karma. What is he going to do? All right, let's see. Both teams are basically out of defensive cooldowns at this point. Mana, I believe, is still even. Gorecki gets crowd control. The chain is engaging for the boys to find victory. But chun Li's running away. Why is Chun-Li running away when Abster just crowd controlled? Maybe he was trying to avoid an attack, but that was an opportunity to push for a kill. Mana's totally even as we just step foot into dampening here shortly. Chun-Li and Smexen are getting pressured down. Whiskey's trying to fake cast some interrupts. Baiting it on the Fears. The Fears set up Chaos Bolts. Turbo Fist denies Peekaboo's attacks. Absters needs to keep the team alive for at least 30 more seconds if they want to find victory. Grecky needs to keep his team alive for at least another minute. I would say that the move are looking likely to take this. Chun Li gets stun locked. Will he fall? Grecky tries to jump into the fight, tossing out a couple of heals, stabilizes with Iron Park. Whiskey now on the back foot. Abster equally responds. The move still have the mana lead. They blind up Chun Li defensively. A bit of desperation from the move to hold on. And I'm not sure if just surviving will be enough. Yeah, both druids almost completely tapped on mana. Grecky gets interrupted. Whiskey the one is the one that could fall. Good pressure still coming in from Peekaboo on all three members. Grecky's gonna have to play catch up. Whiskey looking for a chaos that ball. Fake. Bakes it out. What is Whiskey going to do? Chun Li Smexen retreating. This is not the position you want to be in as the Windwalker Death Knight. You can't be running away when Absher just completely tapped on mana. Whisk though with the Dark Soul getting out a lot of pressure. Chun-Li has to hold on for another second. Touch of Karma now available. Trade oh, it out no. instantaneously. Can they use that to get enough momentum to take Whisk down? Whisk has nothing left to survive. After just no mana left. And I think it's like it's looking like the boys are going to take this. Peekaboo tries to take the game into his own hands and try and close it out. Kidney shot into fear. Crowd control is good, but the pressure is overwhelming. Whisk will fall, and we're going to game five. Oh, man, that was filthy. They shut down Whisk too, right? and now they're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of the top dogs. They want to get to their first grand final of the year. Keep in mind, right now, they are eight points behind if they lose here of never lucky to going to the land. Obviously, there is one more cup, but if they can win this, just win this one more game, they take number four from NA and coming out of week number five, they would be going to the land. Can the move get that done? All right, here we go. It's game number five. Can the move manage to secure a spot to qualify to the spring finals? They've got the best chance that they've ever had so far this year here today against the boys. But obviously the boys are not going to make it easy as it's coming down to one final match here on Tiger's Peak. Peekaboo holding on to Vendetta this time around, not leading the charge for his team. And I think it's important for Peekaboo to be the last member to commit aggressive cooldowns. He's the one with all the setup. Allow WizK to be the intimidating factor and scare the opponents into using cooldowns. And then Peekaboo can push through and find the kill. That's what worked for them in their wins, unlike they're on hook point. Here early on, we already see a mana lead establishing for the boys, and that is not good for the move. Definitely not. Gorecki with no trinket, vulnerable to crowd control. If Absurge ever decides to push in, land a bash cyclone, but Absurge playing passive, looking for a drink. Gorecki shuts it down with a vortex. Absurge is sitting down for a drink once again. He wants to really pressure Gorecki into forcing that uh, shutdown. Now Gorecki landing a full cyclone. WizK could be in a lot of trouble. Absurge wasted a lot of time. Oh. Down to crowd control, into the bash, forced to trade out the trinket. And WizK, as a result, has to trade out the unending resolve. And if you look, the move, they don't have any defense left. They have basically cracked the move's wall. Mana now in favor of the boys. And I don't know what this is, if the boys were just taking a nap earlier in the series, and now they've woken up, but their damage is much higher and really putting the pressure on the move here. If you're the move, you want to avoid that lower bracket. You don't want to go head-to-head -head with the Super Frogs, or at least you want to stall it out and at least guarantee a second-place finish. They desperately want to qualify for that Spring Finals. They've got a couple seconds to take out Chun-Li. They're going for it. They get denied. Touch of Karma. Now they have to bust through that they may be able to do so with a nether ward on it although now recovered man is evening out iron bark will stabilize Gorecki still has that in his pocket and mana is equal but cooldowns are in favor of the boys neither of these teams have found a moment to drink Gorecki now in stealth what is he doing is he going to be able to regenerate some mana that'll give the boys a huge lead but no Gorecki moving in in cat form that feral affinity getting the pounce done onto WizK. still a lot of pressure here for the boys abstract has not been able to stop healing WizK this entire game never being able to luxury never being able to get the luxury of actually sneaking away and regenerating some of his mana. WizK still under fire. No unending resolve for another one minute and 42 seconds. It's a big opportunity, a big window 
for the boys to push through, especially with Chun oh. touch of death rolling up in around 24 seconds. Viz K gets denied again by Smexen. Both teams basically running on fumes this early on. Everything is going to come down to split second decision making. After just crowd controlled first, Viz K is being pressured, but Peekaboo has an opportunity to punch back. Uh, desperation blind to stall and maybe get some mana in the tank or at least get some cooldowns but now blind not available for Gorecki he's gonna have free reign in this game and he's gonna jump right on top of Absturge look for some crowd control securing the Cyclone and potentially the series Whiskey is still low desperately trying to gate to safety uh -oh. but Smexen grips him back into his clutches perfect chain executed by Gorecki Whiskey barely holding on and how much longer double mortal coil but the Maledict is absorbing so much healing multiple incoming and after just nothing left to keep him going and whiskey is going down the move will have to face the super frogs in the lower bracket but the boys dodged feed versus the fake zebras we're all tied up one and one who is going to find themselves on match point who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament keep in mind folks we're doing a brand new thing you have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in Battle for Azeroth.